in the top stories, 3,000 bursaries come in for UE students, a study says imported poultry products have little impact on the local industry, and a musician says government is not doing enough to stamp out piracy. Welcome to Nation News for Friday, July 11, 2014. I'm Natasha Beckles. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. A day after student representatives called on government to assist UE students in financing their education, Minister of Education Ronald Jones gave some insight into just what is planned. He said in another two weeks, 3,000 bursaries will be offered to Barbadian students who are struggling to pay their tuition fees at the University of the West Indies. They're not going to be a full 100%, but we're starting around 50% of the cost so that you have a way to spread medicine, law, humanity, science, technology, all of the faculties will be able to benefit from that exercise. They will only be available for students studying for bachelor's degrees at Cave Hill, Mona or St. Augustine. Mr. Jones said measures would also be put in place to have the Student Revolving Loan Fund cater to a greater number of students. Mr. Jones was speaking during the launch of the Confucius Institute at Cave Hill. Imports by the state-owned Barbados Agricultural Marketing Corporation, BADMC, have had little impact on the local poultry industry. That's according to the findings of a BADMC Commission study released today, which was conducted by two researchers from the University of the West Indies. It was a response to the recent controversial importation of two containers of chicken wings without consultation with farmers, who charged that such imports would damage the sector. The study pointed out that while the entire poultry industry averages about $150 million in sales per year, last year the BADMC's imports were worth an estimated $5.5 million, or just about 4%. Chairman of the Barbados Copyright Agency, Antonio Boo Rudder, is charging that government is not doing enough to prevent music piracy on the island. In fact, he said the lack of enforcement of copyright laws made government the biggest pirates in the island. Mr. Rudder said government was not demonstrating enough respect for the rule of law and citizens therefore felt they could get away with anything. He made the comments during an Association of Caribbean Copyright Societies conference this afternoon at the Barbados Beach Club. Governor General Sir Elliot Belgrave, Prime Minister Frundell Stewart and other members of Parliament were at the James Street Methodist Church this morning for the funeral service of Basil Forbes, a Barbadian leader in many spheres. Hundreds from all sectors packed the Bridgetown Church and many others stood outside to pay their last respects. Mr. Forbes was described by eulogist Lemuel Rollins as a champion for the manufacturing sector, a devoted local preacher in the Methodist Church, and a committed leader of the Boy Scouts movement. He died last week at age 83. Sixteen local firms were today awarded grants, totaling $1 million from Caribbean Export through its European Development Fund Direct Assistance Grant Scheme. The money will be used for activities in a range of areas, including e-commerce, film production, music licensing, entrepreneurial development, and food safety certification. Speaking during the event, Minister of Commerce Donville Innes told the businesses they had to help drive discussion on the Economic Partnership Agreement. He said Barbados couldn't find itself as a sitting duck if it does not find ways to take advantage of the agreement with the European Union. Some crop over news now. The contestants in the big Soka Royale showdown on July 27th drew for their places today following a motorcade which started at MQI Wildey. Out the blocks first in the sweet Soka competition will be Ian Iwa Webster, followed by Mikey, Brett and Kiyomal, Mr. Dale, Blood, Biggie Irie, Lorenzo, Red Plastic Bag, and Sanctuary. In the Party Monarch competition, defending Monarch Soka Cartel will kick things off followed by Mr. Dale, Blood, Shaquille, Mikey, Iweb and Kiyomal, Garg, Kirk Brown and Crystal. There was a slight hitch this morning which forced the sweet Soka finalist to draw twice. Producer of Soka Royale, Aja, explained that they were unaware that two of the balls had not been replaced during the practice draw, which meant that two finalists weren't able to make a pick the first time around. That situation was rectified and the draws went on without further hitches. 
A Christchurch couple is concerned about a gaping hole which lies mere feet away from their home. Sonia and Samuel Scantlebury of Venus Drive, Mwadon, said they became aware of the hole nearly two weeks ago after a heavy downpour. Samuel estimates the hole to be about eight feet deep and he is concerned that the road could be compromised if the hole collapsed any further. His wife also fears damage might be done to the house which they have occupied for nine years. A team from the drainage unit cordoned off the area surrounding the hole yesterday. 30 students, including two who are differently abled, will take part in this year's Lyme Summer Internship Program which was launched today. They will be assigned to various departments in the telecommunications company over a six-week period as they plan for their future careers. Lyme's Head of Human Resources, Stephanie Catlin Birmingham, told them they would grow personally and professionally from the experience while entrepreneur Tony Thorne and radio announcer Carol Roberts advised them on how to make the most out of the experience. And finally, a physical education teacher in Florida has been suspended after allegedly giving students to work in lessons. The tush shaking tips allegedly occurred in May during a party for the girls soccer team that took place at the house of one of the players. Witnesses said they saw the teacher drinking vodka and twerking on the players. Investigators also say they reviewed a cell phone video of the woman getting a lap dance from a student. And that's Nation News for Friday. You can get it on our website, nationnews.com, as well as our YouTube channel, Facebook and Twitter. Do enjoy your weekend.